Hi there, I'm Levana Fame. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 Full Release, Episode 101. So, if you're new to this series, this is a roleplay playthrough. Our main character is Kellia Tiefling. We decided on her personality at character creation. I give her a voice. And we make our decisions as we go through the game according to her personality. And to everyone else, welcome back. So, we are underneath the Temple of Ilmata. And it sounds like it's been a hostile takeover of doppelgangers. So that's going to be interesting. Alright, well, first things first. We might as well level up Jahira. Okay, and as a level 10 druid... 73 hit points, okay. Improved Wild Strike. She gets an, an additional attack after making an unarmed strike while in wild shape. Fantastic. Fantastic. And level 5 spell slot. Brilliant. A cantrip, a subclass feature, and a different wild shape. Oh my god, she can become a dinosaur. Uh, we might have to have a look at that. We might have to have a look at that. Okay, disease and poison no longer affect her and she can't be charmed or frightened by elementals and fear. Uh, give yourself resistance, why not? Let's give a wall of fire. I am kind of interested in what insect plague would be like, but... Wall of fire sounds awesome as well. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> poor Jahira, she looks a bit rough. So let us show them how it's done. Yes, let's. You need, you need some healing potions. To stay idle. Okay, let's send all healing potions to Kellia, and we'll share them out again. Okay, that looks better. All right. I think we're good now. Ever believe this. So, yeah, no, we're just gonna go straight up the um, the ladder over here, and we'll get straight into the temple and see exactly what's stand. going on up in the top area. I'm sure there's no no chance of us actually coming out stealthed, but we we might as well go up stealthed. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Immediately seen. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Well, we'll just wait for everything to load in. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. So, where the heck are we? Ah, oh, oh, okay. Just here. Alright. Alright, okay. Guess we'd better speak to Brother Donick. Yeah, I'm surprised no one's chucked us out yet. But no, okay, this isn't a, a um, trespassing door. So that's why. Okay, I need let's a quick get into word. it. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? Yeah, you should probably clean up the massive blood trail before you go. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I mean, if my hands were covered in as much blood as yours are, I'd want to get away as well. I'm not touching it. Not with a mop ten yards long. That's Father Logan's blood. Oh, okay. So that blood trail actually... <laughs> they know it's there. They know it's there, okay. Why have you got a priest's blood on the floor? Yes, definitely. Well, I know your priests like to suffer, but... Leaving your blood all over the floor? It's a bit excessive, don't you think? He was attacked in the cellar. 
He had a private altar down there. Used to like the solitude. <laughs> the man ate like a horse, a soup-hungry horse. Usually took enough to feed a small clergy down there. Right. Okay. So they know that he was murdered down there, but they're not going to clean up. Okay. <laughs> a trail of blood ran from the open hand temple crypt into a secret passage through nearby caves. We should follow it to find more evidence. Uh, we've already done that. We've already done that. But at least we now have permission to go down there. So there is that. <laughs> there is that. Okay. Can we? No, we can't take anything from in here, can we? Let's see if we can talk to him again. I want to see if we can ask the other questions. Look, I need to finish up here. Lots of soup to clean up. Blood, too. Ah, okay. I found a key in the cellar. And I found intruders in the tunnels. Okay, so we can't ask him about the investigation anymore because we've already skipped over it, technically. Okay, um... We'll ask about the key first. Yeah, well, I found something down below. I suppose you know what this key opens, do you? Looks like a room key, maybe? Nothing in here, that's for sure. Okay, and I want to talk about the intruders as well. Look, I need to finish up here. Lots of soup to clean up. Blood, too. Look, I don't want to alarm you, but I found some doppelgangers in the tunnels. Had to take them out. It is not a pretty sight down there. Oh, good. More blood to clean up, I suppose. Okay, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Alright. Uh, who's that? Valeria. Okay. We can open any of these doors. And there's a bonfire down there. That's nice. Let's come through here. We can. Ah, okay. Ooh, plaques. Okay, let's read the plaques. Belfry. Bell ringers only past this point. Okay. Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Okay. Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering. All right. Well, let's have a look in the uh, infirmary. Ah, we do have Sister Rose the Penitent and uh, Dead Father Logan. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. We have books to read and portrait of a snowy brown beard, which we can just take. Okay. Why not? Lovely. An end to suffering. Let's read that. Okay, pick that up as well. Encyclopedia Apotheca by Sandre Tollier. Okay. One particular page's corner in this curative tome is more dog-eared than the rest. Akin paralysis. Common sources. Suckling on fizz tree blossom. Deep monastic meditation. Okay, wow. Curious mean locks. Miscellaneous poisons, Carabasson's gift, Chula extract, etc. Incurious mean locks. Okay. <laughs> curious and incurious. Nice. And curative solutions. Healing abjurations, lesser restoration, etc. Restorative elixirs, general antidotes, remedial potions, etc. Okay. So. Giving us a few, a few 
tips at how to avoid avoid being paralyzed for too long or poisoned and paralyzed which is a, a favorite of the doppelganger guy the one that we haven't met yet well let's talk to sister rose the penitent what ails you marsh fever feather lung be quick i've not got all day <laughs> yeah no no uh we're okay we're okay here why are you so busy? Busy, are you? Why is that? I told Logan we didn't have enough to spare all the refugees. I knew it was a bad idea. Now I've got a dead priest to deal with as well. Okay. Yeah, you don't seem that sad. <laughs> you seem more angry than sad. Well, his passing doesn't seem to bother you all over much. Well, his passing doesn't seem to bother you all over much. I'm not sad. I'm angry. He dedicated his life to the needy. It shouldn't have ended like this. One of the mm -hmm. refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. Ooh. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. It is We sick. give them everything. And all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Oh, oh. <laughs> Someone's going to be uh, questioning her vows. Wow. Um. I don't think we got anything more from that, did we? Really, Damon? It's been ages. You don't need to. You don't need to start. But no. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay. Sister Rose told us that Father Logan's corpse was missing a hand, cut off before he died. We should keep looking for more information. Okay, well, let's talk to her again, see if we can ask her anything. Please, leave me be. I've got an awful lot to get done. No, we can't. Okay. And we can't look at him. He <laughs> really does have a hand missing. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's terrible. But there's nothing we can see here. Alright. Well do we have here? Just lots of people. Random people outside. Ah, okay. <laughs> we think random people outside, but it's actually a circus. Okay. Jules the clown. <laughs> Don't we have a clown torso? We have a clown torso. Someone does, anyway. Let's get on with it. Yes, we do. So we probably need to talk to the uh, the circus goers anyway. Cause that's kind of rough. <laughs> it's a little bit rough. Ends, not as bad as it could have. Okay. Details, ah, but we details. do have Better not be people cursed. through this door. So let's go through here. See if we can get something in from any of these people. Oh my gosh. A hey, lots of stuff that we can. Uh, I don't look can't at. Believe anyone would murder Father Logan. There's enough blood to make a believer out of anyone. That you made his grace. Must you be so insensitive? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's enough blood to make a believer out of anyone. Okay. Uh, talk to Sister Yanis. <laughs> look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. 
Listen to yourself. Oh. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Well. Shitey little elephant. <laughs> oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. Okay. Yeah, I really doubt that Ilmater cares. But, yeah. Sounds like you're having a disagreement. Well, tempers always run high during disagreements. And that sounded like a serious one. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Yeah, okay. What do you mean by politically convenient? Yeah. Politically convenient? What's that mean? Brilgor was a refugee. No one sticks up for them at the best of times, and with Gortash in power... They make a fine target for the real culprit, too. Unlikely to be missed, where they weren't wanted to begin with. Mm. Well, I expect the Flaming Fists will ban refugee aid now one of them's blamed for murder. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Stick to being a place of worship. Helping people got your high priest killed. Nice. Uh, I'm sure there are plenty of people from Baldur's Gate who still need your help. Or oh, let me help you. I'll look around and see if there's anything to prove Brill got innocent. But we're technically already investigating anyway, even if we're not really investigating. We're just kind of stumbling around the temple and finding clues. But if it'll get me into areas I'm not supposed to be... Then I'll happily say that, sure, I'll help you. <laughs> mm, yeah, you're probably right about that. But you know, if you don't like how this investigation was handled, I can always take a crack at it. I'll need access to everywhere, though. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Okay, so where can I find the investigator then? The investigator? And where is she? Charessa's caress would be my best bet. Okay. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. A lot of people at Charessa's caress. And what should I be looking for? Yeah, might as well. I don't suppose you have any ideas of where I should start? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ooh. Well, let's let's trade. See. Well, never mind. Well, I, I should get to it. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Oh, wow, she did that without moving her mouth. Lovely. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, we can at least read this book, so let's... Let's do that, we might as well. A mass book used by the Broken Gods congregation during regular services. There are a lot of hymns about self-flogging scattered throughout the tome. Wow. Okay. Okay. Ooh, potions of healing. Uh, okay, okay. That's, gosh, there's a lot of stuff to read in here. Let's get started on this side. Oh, and read the plaque. Why not? Infirmary. Justice oh, right, okay. endures, Same as even in on the suffering. outside. Uh, Colfax's Compendium of Consecrated Creatures. Sure. 
An Ilmatari bookmark in this uncharmingly alliterative tome brings attention to one particular page. The Holyphant, a most mild-mannered mastodon. Combat manual. All right, let's read that too. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Okay. What was that? Seravok and Chev. A study in suffering. All right. A transcription of a sermon given in Baldur's Gate in 1368 dia. This is why our work is important, you noble tormented. <laughs> Okay, Credo of the Rack Stricken Lord. Is that on the bench? Or on? No, it's on the floor, it's right in front of me. Okay. Lord on the Rack, weep for us, for we are weak and you endure. Let your heavy tears fall and let us wince on the salt as we sup. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's interesting. On the matter of soups and starvation. I implore you, Rexy Yanis, Father Logan, to restore your temple's most wonderful soup kitchen to our encampment. My precious baby loved the aptly named meat slop you last served. Even if other ungrateful souls here turned up their noses, I can only sacrifice my own meagre rations in his name for so long. Yours faithfully, Fortuna Dibs. Okay, we'll try and look for that person as well. Come on. Baldur's Mouth, 1492 DR, issue 80. Okay. Let's read this. Ah, okay. Calls to ban refugee help in Rivington. Refugee allegedly slaughters benevolent Father Logan, investigator Valeria to investigate. Armies of absolute massing around Moonrise Towers. Don't worry, we sorted that. The Fist recruits. Only you can protect Baldur's Gate. Okay, Feywild Circus appears in middle of Rivington. A Feywild Circus, okay. Shunning. Upper city closed off. Not a good look. Alright. Charessa's caress deal. Luskan lap dance two for one with ostrich plumes. Okay. That's cute. Alright. Etvad Needle is the ed editor in chief. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, quite a lot to do in Charessa's caress. Behold, protection. Protection's future, the Steel Watch. Okay, that guard at one of the gates told us about the Steel Watch. Well, she didn't tell us about them, she mentioned them. The age of the Steel Watch approaches. The immutable logic and impeccable judgment of complex machinery will pass law without fail and without hesitation. Why must we, why must we risk the lives of those brave enough to accept the mantle of city guard in the fray with common thugs? Moreover, why must we risk the liberty of citizens at the mercy of the vice and caprice of others who take this mantle for ill? Worry no longer as the Steel Watch automatons take to the streets. Okay, automatons. Well, that's... that's worrying. The Triad for Children. Okay. This light read for younger worshippers opens on the following adage. Okay. Very useful, Ilmata. Very useful. 
Oh, we have a novice here. We might as well speak to them. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. <laughs> Indeed, they do die every day, but yeah, what can you tell us about what happened? Well, that is terrible. She says dripping blood. <laughs> That's terrible. Tell me more. I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in warning. Ah, but what if I wanted to talk about it? Maybe I'm suffering. Isn't it your calling? To talk to me anyway? Okay, so we've got a family of tieflings outside. At least let the children in. They've had nothing but scraps for days. I don't know who they're talking to. She's the closest person that I can see anyway. Yeah, okay. I don't want to get distracted by everyone outside though. It's a bit overwhelming. I'd rather just stick to this one thing. Brother Bill, what do you have to say? We let more outsiders in and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? With his murder, apparently. Exactly. Lorcan let a killer into our temple due to his misguided compassion. His faith got him murdered. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive ill-mated grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Hmm. Yeah, sounds like your god would be proud. Well, in that case, Ilmata would be proud of your Father Lorgan. Sounds like he suffered quite terribly. Thank you, stranger. I take some solace knowing that Starian he disapproves. died in Ilmater's service. <laughs> Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. <laughs> Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Okay, but I wanted actual... Who deserves uh, grace. I was hoping that they would open up more, but never mind. At least we got an inspiration point, so there's that. Can we just talk to this guy though? Times may be hard, but the god on the rack asks that we endure for him. No, okay, that was everything that we could have gotten from them. God damn it. Well, I suppose we have all of the evidence we really need. We know it's a doppelganger. It's just, I was kind of hoping that one of these people would out themselves as also being a doppelganger. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Um, a new blasphemy, why not? Let's read that. Penned on official house of the broken god parchment by the revered mistress of the house, Lashbearer Katrine. Be on your guard, mine faithful, for speculation and heretical wandering has spread among the broken flock in recent times. If you are offered blood transference, report it to your temple's rector immediately. It shall not heal you. It shall not deliver you. To suffer truly in the name of our Lord on the rack, your own blood must endure. Wow, so they'll never get blood transfusions. It's not for us to decide who deserves never get blood transfusions. Grace. So, even if even if the father had been found, he likely would have bled to death anyway. Because <laughs> they, they wouldn't have done anything about his uh, blood loss. From having his hand cut off. Okay. Okay, I don't know what I expected, but I actually did kind of expect something to happen standing in the middle of this pool, but no. There's nothing in here, that's a ship. Right, all of the candles are already on. They're already on. Good. Good. At least someone is keeping up with the lighting tasks. These are just stained towels down there. Okay. 
the suffering masses. Let's read that. We faithful tormented must practice listening most intently, in hope that the act of spilling sorrow from stuttering mouths is itself soothing. Okay. So they're becoming psychiatrists just very slowly. Look, a most joyous sensation. All right. For the eyes of Father Sawmal of the Open Hand Temple only. Field report. Benton the Devout, Marpanoth 12, 1368 DR. Today a roughshod group of adventuring sorts happened upon my little patch of Firewine Bridge. They would not heed my warnings about this degenerate magic, nor would they cast off all earthly belongings and join our flock. The feeling in the pit of my stomach as they cast pitying eyes across my pathetic form. What exquisite holy suffering. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as you're happy, I guess. Uh, <laughs> soup for the realms. Okay, and that was... That's the guy that was cleaning up, isn't it? A selection of soups has been outlined in the sticky, often splattered pages of this missive. Dip in soup. Sometimes you've got nice bread and nothing's better than dipped bread. Okay, potato chowder. Look, if all you've got is potatoes, you've got to make potato soup. This chowder makes it not horrid. <laughs> Sweet. Well, at least someone really enjoys the work. And, okay, well, we can read the plaque, hopefully. Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Yeah, okay, so that's just straight into that guy. Just straight in. Okay. Well, the was... I know that's another way out, isn't it? Into the courtyard. But we do have the belfry to go. Which we're technically not supposed to look in, but I have been given permission to look around, so I'm gonna take that and run with it. Uh, okay, we can even we can even take something from the burlap sack without it being steel. Sweet. Get up the ladder then. Okay. There's some rotten food up here. And again, up. Okay. And again, up. All the way to the top. Okay. Ah, burnished necklace. Sweet. Anything else in there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Anything on the roof? Bundle of letters. And a tressim. Okay. Oh. And some blood. Okay. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Okay. Probably, from looking at this, we might have been able to just jump up or something. Maybe just climb up. Get all the way up. But it's okay. We can jump off here. That's fine. I suppose we could ring the bell as well. I don't want to. That would be silly, I think. Okay. Just because I'm sure everyone's going to want to follow me, and they might as well. Let's put Featherfall boots on. Yep, okay. And get down there. That corner looks familiar. 
Does this cat belong to Gail? The cat belongs to Gail? Oh, damn, and we don't have Gail with us. Damn it. Okay, well, let me swap over my boots again. And I don't suppose... We do have speak with animals on. So, I guess if this is Gail's cat... Cat bird. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, and it has feline fall. Resist fall damage. Oh, lovely. Okay, it doesn't have a name though. Well, let's talk to it anyway. Um. Yeah. <laughs> you notice the Tressum guards a shiny ring and stack of letters at its feet. Oh God, that looks so cute. <laughs> Eating carrier pigeons. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's ask what it's doing here. We might as well start off cute. Well, hello there, kitty cat. What are you doing up here? Kitty? I'm vulgar. <laughs> you can call me... Actually, it's better if you don't call me at all. That'll be all, thank you. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's adorable. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll ask about the letters. And that's a fast kitty cat. I can see a bundle of letters there. I really doubt they're yours. You need to carry pigeons, have you? One needn't guess. Pigeon meat is my second favourite. Ooh, second favourite. Okay. Only your second favourite? And what's the first, then? Beholder. But it's exceedingly rare to come by. Uh, but let's not get bogged down in semantics. I believe you were just leaving, weren't you? Ta! <laughs> okay. Do we have any Beholder stuff? I mean, not on us, probably not. It'll all be in, in the camp chest if we do. I don't care about them hunting pigeons, I just want the letters. I just want the letters. Okay, we'll send it on a wild goose chase. I'm sure Gail can collect his cat at a later date. Hopefully this will work. Oh, it looks like you've eaten all of the good ones here. In fact, there's barely any left. You should probably go over across town. I hear there's another aviary there. 15, okay. Yeah, I mean, we have decent, very, very decent bonuses here, so we shouldn't need much more help. So, I will not use Eagle Splendor. We'll just, we'll just go with this. Oh, easy. Okay. Sweet. Another aviary, you say? Well, that does sound quite interesting. The brood here is getting a little thin. Perhaps while I'm seeking out this new feast hall, I'll pay a few visits around town. I might have sussed some interesting items I'd rather like to get my paws upon. If I find anything interesting, I might even be willing to barter. Might. Tara. Away. Tara away. Okay. Oh, that is so sweet. Okay, but she left the letters and that's the important thing. And apparently not the uh, the ring or whatever that we also saw in there. Okay, well, let's grab the letters. That's what we really wanted anyway. Nothing else, no. So, bundle of letters. A letter marked as your eyes only, but lacking a name. Okay. 
Ooh. Yeah, if we open it. Oh, we have to open it because we don't know. We don't know who's who it's for. Three items received. Okay, letter about taxes. Let's read that. A concerned citizen tries to clarify his economic situation so that they are taxed accordingly. It's a nightmare of epic proportion that, that would make an accountant cry. All right, an anonymous letter. A lengthy letter from a Baldurian patriarch to an unknown correspondent. It describes in no uncertain terms how both parties could profit from a war. Okay, and postmaster shipment inquiry. For the special and direct attention of Roa Moonglow only. Ah, Roa Moonglow. She's, yes, the Zent that we've been seeing all over. Look, Roa, you city Zent have always been consummate professionals to me, so I don't understand why the Joaquin's rest cell is so useless. I was supposed to receive several items from them a few days ago, but I've heard absolutely nothing. Could you put out some feelers? Zaris doesn't answer my correspondence anymore. Danzo. Well, that's because she's dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Uh, deep emerald stones on this chain sparkle like Eldath's eyes. Okay. Okay. But that shouldn't be everything. There is blood over here, so... Oh, okay, it's just bird blood. <laughs> it's just where the cat has been uh, eating everything. Well, that's a shame. That is a shame. Okay. Ah, okay, and there are some roots right, just right there. Oh, fine. Fine. Doesn't look like there's anything else on the roofs, though. Ah, is that a door? Is it a door? I think it might just be a bricked up window. Should get started. Oh, that was awkward, but sure. It is just a bricked up window. Okay. That's fine. That's a shame, but it's still fine. Okay, yeah, I need to I need to not look out there. I don't care that much. Alright, well then. Now we need to get back out. Yeah, and let's get over here. Maybe I should at least look around there. Maybe I should. But no, let's let's just get down. Let's just get down. <sighs> oh, survival failed. Okay. <laughs> That's curious. Hey, survival successful. Well done. Let's dig that up. Scroll of telekinesis and a ruby. Very nice. Okay, and some balsam. Sweet. Just one bundle? Okay. Anything coming further this way? No, we can't get further that way. Alright. Looks like we can get just down here to that pouch. Okay. 15 gold and a black diamond. Okay. Dark as Shah's cruel embrace. Sweet. Alright. Very nice. That must have been some drop off location. Well, it's ours now. Good luck getting it out of Kelly's claws. Okay. 
I don't see anything this way. Not really. Alright then, well let's get in there. So it sounds like I'm going to have to go back down there anyway. Because we're now we're now actually investigating the murder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well let's go then. Okay, so no, we don't need to be down here, because we've already checked everywhere. And nothing is flagging up around here in the crime scene anyway. Honestly, when they come back down <laughs> to actually have a look in here, what are they going to think? Doppelgangers, refugees, age-old corpses, all just hanging around. It's a little bit crazy. Okay, last door. Storeroom of some sort? Maybe. Can at least get through here. Oh, you know what? We can actually we can actually get stuff from these. Okay, ooh. Oh, <laughs> that is so weird. Oh my gosh. That is so you weird. That again. That's, again. that's disgusting. Crawling claws. Oh my god. Yeah, Lucretius, rigor of the night. Okay, that's all that's all circus stuff. Let's please ignore that for now. I don't need to be distracted by that. When too many things start going on, <laughs> I lose my focus very quickly. Okay, and you need to get rid of some stuff, otherwise you will take forever. Okay, that's a regular wooden chest. Divine Rapture of Ilmata. Alright. Well, no one's around. Hmm. Let's, let's just have a look at this first. The faded text and battered parchment of this Ixinian manuscript date back to 4th century DR. And lo, he walked among us, but a for brief and brilliant moment. But for a brief and brilliant moment, I'm sure that's supposed to say, the crying god wept upon our earth with the tears of a most fortunate faithful. Okay. Lovely. Wonder if the Dear Lord. Okay. Prayers of repent. Move. A book full of furtive prayers for forgiveness to the crying God. It smells musty as if kept underground for a long time. Okay, register of temple dead speakers. Seems simple enough. It does. A death will often cause or in turn be caused by an imbalance of suffering. <laughs> On such occasions, a priest must commune with the spirit to see if they can address their imbalance. Please list your trained temple dead speakers below. Dead speakers of the open hand temple. Lashbearer Katrine, left temple. Sister Clowen, deceased. Father Logan, deceased. At the bottom of the page, there is a handwritten annotation. 
Apply for dead speaker training at earliest opportunity. Can't have none at next temple inspection. Why? I'm going to assume that's Yanis. So yes, Father Logan and Sister Clowen are both deceased. Clowen was the one for the, the laughing amulet, wasn't she? Pretty sure she was. But Lashbearer Katrine has just left the temple. That's interesting. There's a couple of uh, other things here. Let's read this. A practical guide to furniture building. The false bottomed chest. Ah, okay. Well, I'm definitely going to have to look through all these chests then. Okay. I need a nail. I'm sure I won't need a nail. Let's read Well Tended Garden. Okay. So. Uh, let's read more stuff over here. Memoirs. The Most Holy Sermons of Lash Bearer Katrine. The collected sermons of Lashbearer Katrine, commissioned on her ascension from Open Hand Temple High Priest to the House of the Broken God's Revered Mistress. Ah. Unless these unfortunates know to channel their suffering towards the crying God, how is he supposed to intercede for them? think upon these words my children okay and memoirs volume one this book details the path in faith of one Shira Clawen moving from the light is how he always phrased it which I thought was a bit much a ray of morning light dims this day he would insist I just can't really see it the same way I can comfort I can listen I can heal of course, my talents are best suited in worship of Ilmata. I have no ill will towards the Morning Lord, indeed. I think a shaft of his light will always shine in my heart. I worry, too. There's something that glimmers in Pa's eyes when he talks about the light, and it's not something I like. I alight to Baldur's Gate next ten day, to the Open Hand Temple. Maybe they'll know what ails him. Okay. Her pa. As in her grandpa? As in the guy in the locket? Was he always mad? Hmm. Who knows? Uh, Meditations, Volume 1, Father Logan. This record, penned by Rector Yanis, consolidates various sermons of Father Logan, High Priest of the Open Hand Temple. Okay. All right, well, I don't suppose there is anything out there. Doesn't look like. Okay, let's get into these chests and look for false bottoms then, I guess. Um, yeah, let's get right really close to them. And a star in, why not? In fact, get back in, Kelia. All right, let's lock pick. Oh, no, wait, in fact, let's try to open it. Yeah, okay, now let's lock pick it. Have some guidance and go. Oh, nice, okay. Uh, nothing in there, okay. I'm assuming, anyway. Let's just try it. No, okay. Lockpick. Okay. No, alright, nothing in there. 
lockpick this one as well. This one's 15, okay. Ooh! Seraphic Pugilist Gloves. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 radiant damage. Apparently this is what happens to your handwear when you clock an angel in the chops. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah, no, we're taking that. <sighs> investigation failed. A critical fail on his investigation as well. So that was the ch that was the chest. That was the chest. Um, who has the best investigation? Don't tell me it was you. Oh God, it was. Well, never mind. Um, there is work to do. Shadow Heart. Give Kelly some help. Does this count as adventuring? Open that. This chest there we is go. Than it looks. A double bottom, of course. Sweet. Okay, Confessions, Volume 1, Father Logan. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Is that the only one, though? This isn't let's... Let's continue. Just incense, okay. And last one. Yeah, okay. That was the only one. Well then. What to do? Kelia, let's read the confessions of this priest. The most recent entry in this journal bears particularly heavy quill marks and cross-through revisions. I pen this from the temple cellar, the only place I feel close to the Ilmeter's will anymore. I pass my gaze between the crests that hide my sin apparent, and I wonder, who are they to pass any judgement? They back that those who arrive on our doorstep, blooded, beaten, fleeing from heretical hordes, are dirty, unwelcome, to be shunned. That it is a crime to house them, to bring them into the city proper. But if my back must be broken so others may step to the light, so be it. Okay, so he was, uh, he was the one who was hiding them all in this cellar. That's fine. Um. Ah, there we go, okay. We learned that Father Logan uses the temple crypt to hide imperiled refugees. We should examine the crypt to learn more. Well, <laughs> we have. We're still we're still looking for this uh, this lock that fits the flower key, though. Okay. Don't waste a step. In fact, where am I going? Open that chest. Let's take all of that stuff. I might be looking for only one thing, but come on. Let's clear these out. In fact, all of these books I could probably take with me, couldn't I? Ooh, scroll of protection from energy, scroll of mage armor. Lovely. Scroll of wall of stone, lovely. We do actually have a graveyard out here. Ooh, and some balsam. Sweet. 
sweet. Let's go. Oh, a remedial potion. Okay. All right, let's come around to the chest. Oh, that's a lot of spades. Osha jelly slime, nothing eye, and 41 gold. Sweet. Okay. Ah. All right, we need to not be seen by anyone. I think. Uh, let's read these. Dominic Sonny lost himself to addiction, but found peace in ill mater. Okay, and you? Mikkel Hornkiss gave all to the lepers, fell to the malady himself. He is a beacon to us all. Wow. Nalo Essie. Grief and illness laid ruin, yet her heart held only compassion. The broken god be with her. Oh, okay. Geshan Kirkaros built the open hand temple, gave all in his name. We honor their life and legacy. Nice. B. Gardenson gave her life protecting fellow refugees. May the one who endures shelter her. All right, and this one's got biscuits all over it. Alvin Muffle Fieldwick gave his fortune to the poor, died in the arms of friends. He will be missed. Oh. <laughs> Millie Runbarrel, killed by the cult of the Absolute. May our martyred father shelter her. Huh. Okay. Well, there's nothing here. Unknown child and her dog, who stood watch over her grave. May they be reunited in Ilmater's grace. Oh. Ah, okay. Brilgor fell to anger and rage, taking Father Lorgan with him. May Ilmater forgive him. Ah, okay. Brilgor is the one who apparently killed Logan, so let's definitely dig him up. I guess this is where the dead speaker thing comes into it then. Y uh, yes, okay. We will. Can we. Oh, she's not going to be able to actually pick him up, is she? Because she's going to be over encumbered. Yeah. Let's get rid of a lot of this stuff then. Okay, now try again. Nope, still not working. Okay. Shadow hat. You have strength. Huh. He's just too heavy. He is just too heavy. Yeah, we could probably get rid of all of those books and send them. Send them to camp. Is that going to be enough? No, it's not going to be enough. God damn it. Shh. 
send all that to kill you. Come on. Damn it. Really? Oh, wow. She just can't pick it up. It's just, it's just too heavy. I suppose I could give her a, a, a strength potion. I mean, what else am I going to be using them for? So, sure, I'll look for one of my uh, strength potions. See if we've got one here. Okay. Yes. Shadowheart can drink that. Finally, okay. Everyone get over here. Kellia, get back into sneak. Honestly. Alright, so. Now we should be able to just chuck him on the ground. Yep, there we go. Okay. Astarian. <laughs> Astarian. Let's, let's talk to this guy now. Yes, okay. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Okay. I'm not going to ask him if he's Brilgar. Uh, who killed you? Yeah. Dwarf. Red clothes. Stranger. A dwarf with red clothes. We will learn. Father Lorgan. Helping me. Why? Fists. After me. Needed to hide. Okay. Where? Tunnels beneath temple. Hidden from sight. Okay. I already know how to find the tunnels. Uh, how did you die? Pierced. Once. Paralyzed. The spell's oh. power wears. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Well, we got some updates to our journal. Probably all stuff that we already knew. But never mind. Uh, okay, where... Sister Rose, Father Logan. By speaking with the dead, we learned that a dwarf clad in red killed both Father Logan and Brilgar. We need hard proof to exonerate Brilgar, however, and should check out the murder scene. Okay. The corpse of Brilgar mentioned that he and Father Logan were murdered in a hidden tunnel beneath the Open Hand Temple. We can access it through the temple crypt. Yeah, okay, and we're still we're still looking for whatever this key opens. Um My faith protects me. Pick him I'll up. Grab that. And let's shove him back into this. Now that we don't need him. There we go. Sweet. Uh, enjoy. Not that we can rebury you, but at least that's done. <laughs> at least that is done. So we're looking for a dwarf in red. A dwarf in red. And whatever this flowery key will open. Oh, okay, let's just get inside again. And we'll look for a dwarf in red, I guess. Let's let's get let's ask Sister Yanis if she's seen a dwarf in red. How goes the search? Um 
tell Yanis what you've found so far. Might as well. Assassins under this temple is certainly unnerving news. Thank you for taking care of them. You're on the right track. Please, keep looking. Okay. Okay, thank you. Great. Let's just ask these guys if they know a dwarf in red as well. Unless it was from the the clown's corpse, maybe. That was kind of red, wasn't it? Ready and waiting. Well, certainly waiting. Kinda. Didn't say whether it was a dwarf's corpse, so. Progress. Times may be hard, but the god on the rack asks that we endure for him. No, we can't ask him anything more. What about you? If you're looking for a handout, try elsewhere. We're focusing on our own now. No, I don't care for a handout. I was just looking for information. What about you? Why not? We are his adherents. May ill need to guide your footfall, stranger. Oh. Okay, fine. Fine. Maybe it's not in the temple at all. Uh, let's let's come out here and move. Let's read the plaque. Temple worship suspended until further notice. Right. The faithful endure. They do. I'm sure they do. Okay. Kids trying to get into the circus. That's lovely. All right. Anything over this side? Autumn Crocus. Come to me, Autumn Crocus. There we go. All right. Well. I doubt it's going to be anything more in the open hand temple itself. At least it doesn't seem like it's going to be. We're going to have to... Well, we have a few refugees to talk to in the camp who actually left letters. But yeah, we're still looking for whatever this key unlocks, so... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be in in the temple itself or not. I think I've, I've opened anything that looked like it was lockable. It's not like there's anything hidden around here that we'll end up needing one, a key, flowery key. Let's get in here. Oh, we can talk to him, can we? Can we though? Will they be angry with me? Please, leave me be. I've got an awful lot to get done. Um... Is someone there? Now, it seems like he's not steel anymore. Let's move. So... Let's just talk with him. Don't throw us out, please. Do not throw us out. The corpse regards you lifelessly okay who killed you dwarf dressed in red right a dwarf dressed in red what were you doing when you died hiding Brilgo from fists okay I already know where he was attacked why did he kill you the corpse remains silent. It does not know. Oh, <laughs> that's awful. Uh, I'd like to. I'd kind of like to know why they were hiding Brilgor. Sure. Must protect innocence. It'll make us will. So Brilgo was an innocent, or at least he, is, he thought he was. Um, hmm. How did you die? 
A poison blade. Paralysis. The spell's okay. power wanes. You can ask no more questions. All right. Hopefully she's not going to throw me out. Stop me yet. If, will she react to that at all? Please, leave me be. No. <laughs> I've got an awful lot to get done. No, she won't. Okay. And let's have a look at him. God damn it. Okay, he has a chest key on him. Well, we've already plundered his chest, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that was the one with the false bottom that had his confessions in, so... Yay. But... Yeah, Time to press not exactly ahead. necessary. There was nothing upstairs. Okay, let's talk with you then, mister. Look, I need to finish up here. Lots of soup to clean up. Indeed. Blood too. No, we've already asked him that, haven't we? But we can ask again, why not? Looks like a room key, maybe? Nothing in here, that's for sure. So yeah, it's a room key. Where is it? Flowery. My god, okay, this is why it's it's really difficult. <laughs> it's really, really difficult to remember things when they happened a week ago or more. So yeah, it, it's actually for Frigo's flop house, and that's where I should be going, not wasting my time here. Honestly, okay. Well, at least I know now. At least I know now that we have at least finished everything in the open hand temple that we can. So the investigator is in Sharessa's caress, or something, and we need to go to this flop house. And that's the last thing that we can do to uh, move this investigation along. <laughs> along. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I think we'll probably leave it here then. So at least we met Gail's cat. That's nice. It's a shame that she has flown away, mainly because we sent her on a wild goose chase looking for other birds. But still, would have been nice if we'd have been able to reunite them. But for that, I assume I would have needed to have Gail in my party. But at least we know next time that we come across them, we need beholder meat for her, because that's her fa favourite food. So, I might have a look in my camp chest, see if we've got any beholder food. Yeah, alright, so, well, next episode we will leave the temple. <laughs> and we'll start exploring. That should be fun. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. I upload five videos a week, so hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.